Hey guys, Sprout here, welcome back to the channel. Got an exciting video for you today as Call of Duty have finally released a first look at the gun bench which is going to be on Warzone Mobile. Now, as I say, they've released a new video of the Warzone 2.0 gun bench. And you're going to see it was but Sprout, it's for Warzone 2.0, not mobile. However, You'd be missing an important point that they said during COD Next that every feature on Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2.0 will be on Warzone Mobile bar the map. So we're going to have the same guns, the same progression, etc. So it's safe to assume that the gun bench they're showing now for Warzone 2.0 is the exact same gun bench for Warzone Mobile. I don't think they're going to make it different because then the guns will be different. You know what I mean? It all has to be the same. So, without further ado guys, we're going to take a look at their video alongside me talking as well. Uh, let's get straight into it. If you do us a massive favor guys, like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be covering a lot of this game in the lead up to any betas or a full release next year. Hope you enjoy this video, let's get to it. Gunsmith itself has a whole new environment. It is an updated interface that makes it feel like you are in a gunsmithing space. Well, it's, it's looking very professional. It looks easy to manage. It looks visually stunning, I'll be honest with you. Um, it looks like you're going to be able to just do your full loadout, you know, your, your main weapon, your sidearm, depending on what perks you've got, your perks as well, your tactical, your lethals, all of that all in one go the M4 platform. And what you're going to notice is not only in this title are you able to change out the stock, optic, etc., but this time there's actually an extra slot and that is for the receiver. There's so many attachments to swap and change. It's going to be able to make a really unique gun fit to your play style. You're, going to, you're just going to be able to just go mad with it, aren't you? And just, I'll have this, I'll have that, pick and choose, whatever the friggin' hell you want. But what was that about the receiver? You have a platform of weapons, which is a family of weapons. Once you get to a receiver unlock within your first weapon, that's when you unlock another weapon. So as we level up our guns, guys, we're going to unlock lots of attachments for the gun, and that'll help you shape the gun into the way you want it. But at the end of this, you're going to unlock a new receiver, which is like obviously the main part of the gun, which then unlocks another gun, which you can then swap to this one, and then again go to leveling up to find another receiver after that. And those modifications that you have already unlocked for the previous weapon now work on that weapon too. Honestly, I was worried there for a second that I was going to have to farm and farm and farm to get these new attachments. So you unlock the new receiver, you've still got all of our attachments from the previous weapon. So you change from M4 to M16, for instance, and you've still got the stock, you've still got the, the pistol grip, the muzzle, etc. that you had on the, M at the M4, you can transfer that over to the M16 and still have the same gun, but a different gun, essentially. The receiver this time is driving Gunsmith as it would be in reality and each of these separate receivers have their own unique progression. So the receiver for the assault rifle will remain for that assault rifle. But if it's a receiver for the SMG within that platform and you switch to that receiver, then you have the SMG in place. But the modifications that you have already previously done on that assault rifle can move over to that SMG. Bill. So even when you unlock a new gun, for instance, a different tier gun, so you've went from assault rifle to SMG, you're going to be able to use the same attachments. So pretty much what it means is once you've unlocked this pistol grip, this pistol grip is available for every single weapon possible that you can attach that to. So once you've unlocked it, that's it. You don't have to sit and farm each gun individually. Each of those shared attachments that you unlock is now cross-progressible and attachable onto another weapon in the same class. That's another thing, guys. We're going to have cross-progression between guns. As I've said a couple of times now, you're not going to have to sit and farm. I remember on Modern Warfare 2, when I used to play Warzone and stuff, having to sit in shipment with my new gun before I took it into Warzone with us for my loadout and stuff, and just kill and kill and kill to get all the different unlocks for the guns. You're not going to have to do that anymore. You're going to get all the attachments with one gun, unlock a new gun, and then get all them attachments again, and maybe new attachments for the new gun that you gradually unlock 
and you can just swap and change between different guns to your heart's content. We are introducing a system of how to develop or modify a blueprint like we've never done before. We wanted to create a weapon system that was visually consistent through and through. So yeah, like I was saying, any gun you want to use, if you've got the attachment unlocked, you can put it on. It's going to be, it's going to leave so much customization options. Options, you've got no idea. I, I mean, I've got no idea how I'm going to cope with all this. When we set out to create the vault system, we wanted to give players greater ability to customize and add personality to their weapons. At its core, the vault system unlocks every attachment and allows you to equip any attachment onto your M4 platform that share the same aesthetic. Oh God, guys, I swear, right? I can see myself making some random gun builds here, like testing out what works. Th this stock worked on another gun. I'm going to use it on this one. I'm going to go absolutely mad. I'm going to be making meme builds, everything. Just something to pass the time. I swear to God, I'm going to spend more time in the gun bench than I am going to be playing the game. I'm going to be absolutely going mad with attachments. Crazy you are able to run it however you like and it's going to match no matter what attachment suite you put on it well guys all i can see is get the meme builds on the go am i right anyway guys if you enjoyed this video i have i've enjoyed making it i've enjoyed learning about the new gun bench i can't wait to try it myself i just want to you know get into editing, unlock them things and get it going. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, it is a massive I like the video, make sure you have subscribed to the channel down below and click that little bell so you do get notified. I am playing Call of Duty Mobile. In the meantime, you can jump on my streams or make sure you check out some videos when I do post them. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching and uh, hopefully the reveal, reveal some more stuff in the near future and I can do a video on that as well. And hopefully you'll be watching it. So thanks so much for watching guys. Bye bye for now.